Open up your MTT and we're going to do the first part of the quiz review on translations and reflections. All right, the first thing that we're going to do is write in our PI chart, fill in the ordered pairs that you were given, and you're going to go ahead and graph those ordered pairs for your pre-image. Now we're going to do three to the left and five up. So we're going to go ahead and fill in our four, our three, our one. We're going to the left, so it's going to be plus negative 3, plus negative 3, plus negative 3. We're going to be going 5 up, so it's going to be negative 1 plus 5, negative 4 plus 5, and negative 2 plus 5. So our new ordered pairs are going to be 1, 4, 0, 1, and negative 2, 3. Our algebraic expression, x plus negative 3, or you can do x minus 3, and y plus 5. Now what we need to do is go ahead and graph our image. So the easiest way to do this and check it at the same time is start at r. You're going to go 3 to the left, 3, and then you're going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that point should be 1, uh, that point should be negative 2, positive 3, and that is our prime. And then we're going to start with M, and we're going to go 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3, and up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that should be 1, 4, and that's going to be M prime. And then we're going to start with N, go 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3, and up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that gives you 0, 1 for n prime. And you connect your points, and now your graph is complete. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to number 2. We're doing another translation. We filled in the ordered pairs for the PI. We've already gone ahead and graphed the pre-image. Now we're going to go 2 to the right. So we're going to put in our 4, our 3, and our 1. Those all come from the ordered pair. It's 2 to the right, so it's going to be plus positive 2, plus positive 2, plus positive 2. And then we're going to do negative 1 plus negative 5 because we're going 5 down. Negative 4 plus negative 5 because we're going 5 down. Negative 5. And negative 2 plus negative 5 because we're going 5 down. Our new order pairs are going to be 6, negative 6. 5, negative 9, and 3, negative 7. So in order to check it, we're going to go ahead and start with M, and we're going to go 2 to the right, 1, 2, and we're going to go 5 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that should be 6, negative 6. That's M prime. And then we're going to start with N, and we're going to go 2 to the right, and we're going to go 5 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's going to be N prime. And then we're going to go to R, we're going to go 2 to the right, and then 5 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that is R prime. We're going to connect our dots, and the ordered pairs should match our PI chart. Our algebraic expression, then, is X x plus 2 comma y plus negative 5. You can also do y minus 5. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at number 3. Number 3, we have a quadrilateral. We've put in the ordered pairs for the pi, and we've gone ahead and graphed our pre-image. Now, we're reflecting this over the x-axis. So remember that our algebraic expression is going to be x times negative 1, because we're reflecting over the y, and then our y stays the same. So we're going to write in 1 times negative 1, and then 1. And we're going to do 4 times negative 1, and then 3. And 4 times negative 1, and then 6. And then 1 times negative 1, and then 6. So our new numbers are going to be negative 1, 1, negative 4, 3, negative 4, 6, and negative 1, 6. 
Now we're going to go ahead and check these. So we're going to stand on the y-axis. We're going to notice that we go 1 to the right to get to j. So we're going to go 1 to the left to get to j prime. And you'll notice that that is negative 1, 1. We're going to stand on the x-axis. And we would go 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right to get to k. So we're going to go 4 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's going to give us k prime, which is also negative 4, positive 3. So we're doing great. We're going to stand on the y-axis. We're going to notice that we count 1 to the right to get to m. So we're going to count 1 to the left to get to m prime. And we're going to notice that that is also at negative 1, 6, which is what our PI chart tells us it should be. And we're going to stand on the y-axis, and we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right to get to l. So we're going to go 4 to the left to get to l prime. And again, that should be negative 4, 6. We're going to connect the dots. And we're going to notice that our ordered pairs line up with our graph. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, the same figure, but now what we're going to do is we're going to reflect it over the x-axis. So we're reflecting it over the x-axis, which means our y is going to change. So our algebraic expression is going to be x times, or, sorry, x comma, and then y times negative 1 because we're reflecting over the x-axis. Remember that whatever axis you're reflecting over, you multiply the other one by a negative 1. So this is going to be 1, 1 times negative 1, and 4, 3 times negative 1, and 4, 6 times negative 1. Oops, that looks like a 7. We'll make it a negative 1 negative 1, and 1, comma, 6 times negative 1. So our new ordered pairs are going to be 1, negative 1, 4, negative 3, 4, negative 6, and 1, negative 6. So now in order to check that, let's make this a little bit easier to read, 4, negative 6, now we're going to go ahead and stand on the x-axis, and we're going to find our points. So when we stand on the x-axis, we go up 1 for j, which means we're going to go down 1 for j prime. And that is indeed 1, negative 1. We're going to go up 6 to m, so we're going to go down 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that gives us 1, negative 6, which is m prime. We're going to stand on the x-axis. We're going to go up 3 to get to k. So we're going to go down 3 to get to k prime. 1, 2, 3. And we're going to mark it k prime. We're going to stand on the x-axis, and we're going to go up 6 to get to l. So we're going to go down 6 to get to l prime. And you'll notice that the graphed ordered pairs match with the ordered pairs in your PI chart. And that's how you practice. Um, the quiz review for translations and re reflections.